I think by now most of us have seen videos of black people being maltreated in Guangzhou, China, where they are being evicted from their homes, they are thrown on the street, they are not allowed into restaurants and hospitals. This treatment of black people and Africans is even going on in Africa. I covered the story about Chinese restaurants in Africa, Nigeria and Kenya specifically, who refuse to serve black people. Yes, they refuse to serve black people in Africa. If you missed that video, check this out. My friends and I have been asked to leave this Chinese establishment, a restaurant too, simply because we, we are black. In Nigeria! In Nigeria. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I thought that would be the end of this madness. But this morning, someone from Zambia sent me this video. Check it out. Imagine being called a foreigner in your own country by a foreigner. Well, that's the predicament of a male Zambian national who has chosen to remain anonymous. The man was on Saturday turned away from a Chinese restaurant and shop called Lankins in Lusaka's Long Acres for being black and a foreigner in his own country. The man was in the company of his Chinese wife and now explains. These two other guys were in front of us. They went in these uh, Chinese nationals. They went in. So when my wife and I were going in, there was this lady behind the counter. She was uh, shouting something. She was yelling something. So for me, I, was, I, I just looked at her, but then I couldn't understand. So I walked in again. Then she repeated the same phrase. The same phrase. So at this time, I looked at my wife because she was looking in my direction. So I looked at my wife. My wife had stopped moving. So I asked her, what, what is she saying? So the lady said, foreigners are not allowed in this shop. So I thought to myself, in my mind, I was like, oh, how, how does she know my wife is, you know, not from Zambia? Then my wife said, oh, she means you are not allowed in the shop. That's when I was confused. Foreigner? I am the foreigner in this situation. So she said, uh, then uh, my wife asked the lady, what do you mean? She said, oh, no, the Chinese can come inside. You have to wait outside. You can't come inside. The wife of the Zambian national has described the actions taken by the Chinese nationals against her husband as ridiculous. I don't think Chinese, I mean, like, racism is everywhere. But then, like, in this situation, it's just a little bit unusual, you know? How can you ask, uh, how do I put it? How, how can you say that foreigner cannot come in when they are in a foreign country? It's ridiculous. I mean, like, they are not supposed to behave like that. I asked the couple to accompany me to the said restaurant and shop so that I can independently verify the allegations leveraged against the Chinese business firm. In the shop, there was only one female Chinese national at the counter and busy on her phone. We proceeded in the shop. And when going out, I asked the Chinese lady, with the help of the Zambian national's wife for translation, if I could see the owners of the shop so that I can find out about the allegations leveled against them, but the lady outrightly refused. When she refused, I asked her whether it's true or not that they turn away blacks in their shop. In her response, the Chinese national explained that this decision has been arrived at in view of the coronavirus, but denied turning away any black person a contradiction. <laughs> Okay, so basically she said that normally they allow the uh, Zambians, they will come here, they will, like, they, normally they are like the driver of the Chinese Chinese national. So the Chinese national will come and buy stuff, the uh, Zambian driver will be waiting outside, then they will be like carrying the stuff from here to the car, not to go inside. But if you say those who are like, they insist to go in, they will still allow. Mm. So the Zambian drivers, the black ones, they wait from here. Yes. Then yeah. the, the Chinese, they go inside, they, go inside, ah. they buy, then they get the stuff from here. Mm. So when you came here, they thought he's also a driver for you. Is, 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 is that what they thought? But the one, the one yesterday is not this one. Simply put, the Chinese are saying blacks transmit the coronavirus. How painful can that be? That's simply an insult. Well. 
Let's assume that what this lady is saying is true, that they don't discriminate against the blacks, their actions speak to the contrary. For example, everything here is written in Chinese except for phone numbers and names of Zambia and China. It's very interesting how they are referring to us, we the Africans, as foreigners on our own soil. It's because these people are slowly buying up Africa. And if we are not careful as a people, we will become slaves to these Chinese. Yes, it's about time our leaders wake up and stop borrowing from these Chinese because it's only a trap. They are trying to trap us into slavery. They have an agenda. And if we don't wake up, we'll be very, very sorry. It's so sad that we didn't learn anything from the past. We've forgotten about how the Europeans lied to us and enslaved black people for over 400 years. We shouldn't allow this to happen again. It's about time we as Africans wake up and make some serious changes before it's too late. Because the Chinese are slowly taking over Africa. Shalom. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to receive more videos from me on WhatsApp, you can join my WhatsApp group by going to my Facebook page. That is Dr. Dennis Bento. When you get there, just click on like and then click on follow. Don't forget to click on see first, else you won't see all my posts. You can find my WhatsApp link on any of my posts. Just click on the link and click OK. That's it, you're in. Just so you know, this is a closed group. It's not for chatting, it's not for posting. Only I and my team can post in this group. When you join this group, you can send me a DM, you can ask me questions, you can send me your prayer request, and I and my team are gonna pray for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.